are very honored to have our speakers for today from the Department of Science and Technology, which will talk about sustainable business and technology collaboration. Uh, I would like to introduce our first speaker, a DOSD NCR programs and services composed of DOSD's assistance to various MSMEs, communities, and OFWs. Uh, I don't know what MSME means, but later on she will explain that to you, okay? Our first speaker is currently a supervising science research specialist and the assistant regional director of technical support services of DOSD NCR. She handles technology transfer projects under DOSD's various technology transfer programs, such as small enterprise technology upgrading program. So uh, small businesses, I think. She also conducts training activities such as productivity improvement tools, quality management system, and IP foundation for MSMEs. Oh, there you go. I think SME is small and a medium enterprise. I think that's what it means. And is part of the consultancy services teams on food safety, cleaner production, and energy audit. She has been part of DOSD NCR for the past 13 years and has been a consistent DOSD NCR awardee as outstanding employee employee of the agency. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear you from my chat room with a big round of virtual applause to the Assistant Regional Director of DOSD NCR. Hello to Engineer Romelin Tresfalias. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is excited for a whole day of sharing for today, especially for our, especially for our uh, viewers, especially those watching on Facebook Live. Uh, for today, I will be sharing uh, what we in the DOSD uh, are doing to collaborate and providing AP support to the industry. So on behalf of our regional director, uh, Director Jose B. Uh, we would like to thank the organizers and uh, sponsors, particularly the Chamber of Cosmetics Industry of the Philippines, for uh, allowing us to be with you for today. Uh, before I start uh, discussing some of our problems, let me share with you uh, who the DUST is. So the DUST system. Uh, we are mandated to provide a uh, central direction, leadership, and coordination of all scientific and technological efforts. We hope that uh, these activities, these programs would uh, redound to uh, maximum utilization in for improved economic and social benefits for all of us, so nationwide. Uh, to be able to do those, uh, we, our, we are, of course, headed by our secretary, and our secretary is ably supported by uh, under secretaries for research and development, under secretary for SP services, under secretary for regional operations, and under secretary for disaster risk reduction and climate change. So if you would observe, halos na capture the only sa mga sinabi ko kanina, the functions and the services that the DOS the system provides. Uh, we also have to be able to do our programs and services uh, and fulfill our mandate. We have uh, seven research and development institutes who conduct research and development studies to generate products and processes and provide uh, s and services in the respective sectors. So firstly, we have the Advanced Science and Technology Institute as he conducts uh, R&D on information and com communication technologies, microelectronics, and they also conduct um, R&D on space technologies. We also have the Food and Nutrition Research Institute, which would probably be uh, very familiar to our viewers or to our watchers for today. Uh, Madala sila lumalaba sa TV. Uh, ang FNRI, they do R&D and s and services related to food and nutrition. Uh, we also have the Forest Products Research and Development Institute, for technology development for uh, forest-based uh, products. And the Industrial Technology Development Institute, uh, which would have a wider um, R&D activities, anything that is related to industry development, they would be able to be 
So later in the day, we'd also, we also have speakers from uh, the Industrial Technology Development Institute. Uh, we also have the Metals Industry Research and Development Center, which conducts research and development and provides support for the metal fabrication sector. And uh, the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute, the, the PNRI naman, conducts R&D and provides S&T services for the application of radiation and nuclear technologies to industries. And the Philippine Textile Research Institute, which works on uh, local dye development and uh, textiles from indigenous, uh, indigenous sources. Um, the DUST also has six scientific and technological services institute. Uh, some of these agencies would be more familiar than the others. So wala namang hindi nakakakilala sa atin, di ba? Sa kung sino si Pag-asa at kung sino si Divox. Uh, additionally, the Philippine Science High School System and the Science Education Institute are also part of the DUSD. These two agencies uh, are mandated to uh, conduct, uh, to provide programs and services that would enhance yung ating human resource development. So we would have um, high school scholars under the Philippine Science High School System, and we also have undergraduate and graduate scholarships under the Science Education Institute to give up our SMT human resource. And we also have the Science and Technology Information Institute, which is the marketing and promotional arm of the USP, and the Technology Applications and Promotions Institute, which also takes lead in promoting the different uh, technologies generated by the DOSD system, as well as providing support not just for inventors, but for those who are also in the micro, small, and medium enterprises sector. Uh, we also have, of course, our advisory bodies who provide policy support. And um, the National Research Council of the Philippines, which is, uh, which is which which uh, facilitates the conduct of basic research as mission. Uh, we are also supported by our three sectoral planning councils who who formulate policies, uh, they plan R&D programs uh, in their respective sectors. So we have three sectoral councils. One is the uh, Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resource, says research and development. We have another council for health research and development and another one for industry, energy and emerging technologies research and development. Uh, the DUSC is also the DUSC also has presence nationwide through our DUSC regional offices. The DUSC regional offices are mandated to promote all the programs of the different US agencies, conduct technology transfer, and provide SMT services in their respective regions. Uh, to be able to uh, efficiently implement these, our regional offices would also have provincial SMT. Centers, so we would have presence actually in all provinces nationwide. In the national capital region, to be able to uh, to be able to efficiently implement our programs and services, we have actually divided the whole SDR into four what we call uh, clustered area SMT centers. This would be the uh, clustered area SMT center for Tamanaba, which is Kalookan, Malabon, Nabotas, and Valenzuela. Uh, should you have should you be from this area and you would should you need um, support s and support you may just contact our cluster in area s and director for this area uh ito ang kanyang contact details so they answer they would answer your text messages kahit gabi na yan wag lang tulog na sila uh, you can also email them at this email addresses um the email address for our uh pamamason SNT area is also here. That's Pasay, um, Mandalu That's Pasay, Manila, Makati, and Quezon City. Uh, we also have our uh, clustered area SNT director for the Pamamarisan area, which is Pasig, Marikina, Mandaluyong, and San Juan, and for the Muntaparlas area composed of the cities of Muntinupa, uh, Tagig, Pateros, Paranaque, and Las Piñas. So you would see all their contact details screen. So you may just email them if you have questions, if you have inquiries, or if you need anything from the DOS. 
So one of our priority programs for the micro, small, and medium enterprises is our small enterprise technology upgrading program. So this is USP's umbrella program for MSME to be able to help them uh, to help them adopt technological innovations so that we would improve their productivity and competitiveness. Uh, we are also transitioning this program into what we call the Setup 2.0, Science, Technology, and Innovation for Smarter MSMEs. Uh, with this program, we hope to be able to further make our MSMEs be smarter in that they are uh, socially responsive, they are market-oriented, they are agile, they are resource efficient, they are technology intensive, they are environment friendly, and they are resilient. So we are devising different programs and s and services that we could provide and to the, not just to the industry, but also at the firm level. So under this program, Setup 2.0, we are expanding the scope of services of the uh, small enterprise technology upgrading program um, to focus both on the firm level assistance and industry level assistance. Previously, we would usually just work on the firm level assistance, but to be able to have um, the impacts at the firm level redound to the industry level, we would be expanding these services. Uh, firm level assistance would be focused on technology transfer, SME services, and market support development, and funding support for technology acquisition, while industry level assistance would be focused on looking at the industry roadmaps, uh, developing programs that would support the realization of the SMT roadmaps, uh, the needed SMT support facilities, and human resource and policy development support. Uh, we hope to be able to launch to fully, while we um, had a soft launch of this program last year, we hope to be able to fully transition by next year. So the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program, as we said, uh, it hopes to improve the productivity and competitiveness of our micro, small, and medium enterprises, enterprises uh, by um, giving them advice on the technological innovations to upgrade their products and processes. How? We infuse appropriate technologies. We conduct training and technical assistance. We also conduct functional uh, we also conduct consultancy services and provide support on product standards and testing. So hopefully with this package of holistic package of assistance, we would be able to increase their productivity, improve their product quality and, and therefore the marketability of the product also help them, um, help them reach a wider market and uh, expand not just their local market, but possibly international market as well. Under the program, uh, we have priority sectors. So these priority sectors are, are also actually anchored on the priority sectors of the DDI. So we have food processing, we have agriculture, we have furniture, metals engineering, gifts, decors, and, higher, and handicrafts. And of course, uh, the health and wellness sector is included, including um, the ICT and electronic sector, plus regional priority sectors that are declared by the regional offices of the DTI. So if you fall in any of these sectors, you would actually be able to assist through the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program. Um, the small enterprise, we're proud of this one because the, the small enterprise technology upgrading program provides a holistic uh, package of SMP assistance. So depending on your, on your needs, uh, you, you could provide the technology acquisition and equipment upgrading component, or you could just uh, access the technical advisory and consultancy services component of the program. Uh, there's also a technology training component for the program as well as packaging and labeling services component. And uh, we have developed uh, different databases and information systems that would uh, benefit our sector. And uh, lastly, in testing and calibration services. So depending on the needs that of each MSME, you would have access to just one or to all of this, depending on your preferences as well. So I'll just go through the different uh, components of the program. 
firstly is the technology upgrading and acquisition. So what we do under this uh, component assistance is that we transfer appropriate technology. So how do we do that? Uh, we would firstly conduct a technology needs assessment to be able to determine where in the process you would need improvements on. And then we would, our experts would give advice on how you could improve or establish you improve your processes or operations, or if there is a need to establish new processes, uh, they would also be they would also give advice on the appropriate technologies or appropriate processes that we should be using, as well as the appropriate equipment. If there is a need for, uh, if there is a need for a funding support to be able to do this, uh, we also provide a seed fund for technology acquisition. However, the seed fund, seed fund provided would be limited for technology acquisition. So these technologies can be, as determined from the technology needs assessment, these can be off the rock technologies, imported technologies, or those developed by the DOSP network. What's the good thing about the innovation fund support? Uh, given to micro, small, and medium enterprises is that uh, this is um, provided at 0% interest rate. And then our MSME would have, would be given a grace period of six months before they would start refunding the fund support. Uh, the refund period would also be up to three years. So it gives uh, the, our MSME time to implement the improvements and realize, uh, realize benefits from the improvements first before they would refund back to the government the amount of funding support given. So one of the uh, one of the one of the companies that is actually in your industry that was supported by setup is Migoskin Enterprise. Uh, for Migoskin, we conducted technology needs assessment. We provided cleaner production assessment. They were also provided with assistance on improving the plant layout, so they would be, uh, they would have um, a faster time complying with the requirements of the Food and Drug Authority. They were also provided with technical trainings on lean management, uh, preventive maintenance, inventory systems, all intended to improve their operations and therefore the productivity. Uh, they were also provided with fund support for equipment upgrading, so they will, they were able to um, mechanize, semi-mechanize some of their processes, which were which they were doing manually before the setup assistance. And with that, uh, they were able to realize an 80% increase in production volume. Uh, they also improved their production efficiency with a reduction in mixing time and packaging time. Um, the cleaner production assessment facilitated a 42% reduction in cleanings and wastages. And therefore, all those uh, improvements also contributed to the 40% reduction in operating expense. So with the application of um, improved practices, improved processes, improved uh, production flow and equipment, they were able to improve their productivity. Uh, DJM, Grand, DJM Grandeur Incorporated is also one of our partners for the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program. Incidentally, we would also like to con congratulate DJM Grandeur Inc. Uh, DJM was chosen as this year's DOST NCR uh, Best Setup Adapter and is competing at the national level uh, setup awards. So hopefully, uh, we'll also be able to bag that award. Um, for the DJM Grants Incorporated, uh, we provided a technology needs assessment, food safety consultancy, uh, label design assistance. Uh, we also had technical trainings with them and equip equipment upgrading for their processes. So some of these processes, uh, mixing, they, they used to do for one of their products, uh, uh, technology business incubator, that time in the Industrial Technology Development Institute. With DOST's, assist, DOST's small enterprise technology upgrading program assistance, they were able to do the processing in house now and had, and they no longer had to rent facility from the IPDI. 
uh, with that, uh, they uh, with the different um, setup assistants, they were able to automate their filling process. Uh, they were also able to speed up their cutting process, improve uh, production capacity, and um, like I said, uh, transfer some of their operations from ITDI to their in-house productions. Um, as I, as I mentioned earlier, the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program provides a holistic package of assistance. One of these is the kind of uh, technical consultancy services. One of those would be the cleaner production technology where we deploy or where we send uh, CP assessors, cleaner production assessors to the uh, facility of the micro, small, and medium enterprise. Then they would uh, observe the processes from the start to the end and give options on reducing waste sources and implementing cleaner production options. With the reduction of waste at source, they would also be able to improve their productivity as well as uh, have lesser uh, waste generation, which would need treatment at the end of the process. With that, we are implementing preventive environmental strategy which can serve as a platform for the implementation of an environmental management system. But more importantly, we enhance profitability as well as improve your public health and, of course, your workers' health and safety. Uh, under this program, uh, we do uh, assessments in-house and on-site as well as trainings in-house and on-site, and then we deploy the teams to help uh, identify options. We assist in the implementation of the those options, and we monitor as well implementation of options provided. And so this is just one of the companies that we have assisted under this program. So we just uh, see inner production options provided would either focus on improvement of processes, improvement of SOPs, or even as even um, upgrading of technologies and upgrading of equipment. So with this company. Uh, we focused on improving their SOPs and we just, the improvement in SOPs, they were able to generate a savings of 200,000 per year with a reduction in water consumption. Another service that we provide under the program is the food safety program. So with this one, uh, we conduct in-house and on-site food safety training. Uh, we deploy our food safety experts to provide assistance on improving plant layout, um, standardizing the processes and standardizing the products, as well as conducting food safety and GMP audit and providing technical assistance on documentation and implementation of good manufacturing practices as SOPs and HACCP. Uh, with this, we hope that uh, our MSMEs will uh, not just be able to comply with the requirements of the Food and Drug Authority, but um, also be able to comply with the regular uh, with the market requirements of their target markets. Yeah. Uh, we also provide uh, the energy audit program where our energy auditors um, are deployed to the MSMEs to conduct assessments on electrical and motor assessments, lighting assessments, mechanical assessments, and thermal systems. Uh, with these audits, we hope to improve their um, their uh, energy conservation measures, and if there's a need to infuse new technologies, new energy efficient technologies, our experts would also recommend which would be appropriate, which technologies would be appropriate for each specific firm. Uh, we also provide productivity improvement uh, programs where we deploy a professional um, consult productivity consultants. So under this program, our productivity consultants would uh, would assess each firm, particularly on plant layout, time and motion studies, waste management, production planning. Uh, they would monitor the implementation over a three-month period or a six-month period with the hope of improving the productivity of each uh, firm assisted of Traditionally or historically, those that we have assisted with this uh, consultancy program were able to increase their productivity by at least 20%. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we are transitioning to set up 2.0, and 
And under the Setup 2.0 program, we are expanding the scope of our consultancy services provided. So under manufacturing productivity, um, from the basic productivity services that we are providing, we would be expanding this to include lean manufacturing, uh, Six Sigma systems, enterprise manufacturing systems. Uh, we would also be expanding the, the cleaner production program to also include environmental management systems. Uh, we would be also launching new consultancy services programs, particularly on organic agricultural control systems and certification. Uh, we would be expanding the food safety consultancy program to include food safety management systems um, on, on implementation and documentation on quality management systems will be included as well. And business continuity planning, which is timely with the, uh, with the pandemic and all the um, natural hazards na pwede mag-occur dito sa atin. Since alam naman natin, it's, uh, the Philippines is one of the vulnerable areas for calamities. Uh, we would also be uh, implementing machinery and equipment maintenance program and uh, providing non-food industrial and functional design and development as the new consultancy programs to be offered under the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program. But we hope to be able to launch uh, all of these by next year. We are just completing the uh, methodologies and accreditation mechanisms. Uh, we also conduct under the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program, technology training seminars and demonstrations. So these can be, we have shifted to online conduct during this year, but if there's a need to do it physically on site, uh, observing physical distancing and new normal requirements, of course, we can still provide that. Uh, packaging and labeling, labeling services are also provided to our micro, small and medium enterprises. Uh, this for the national capital region, we do this in partnership with the uh, uh, Industrial Technology Development Institute's um, Packaging Technology Division. But in other regional offices, they would uh, already have their own packaging centers. So under this program, there is technical assistance, there is consultancy, there is just testing and analysis. Uh, so there is label design. Um, provision, package product compatibility testing, uh, shelf life testing, and then there's a tall packaging uh, service that's being provided by the PTD on a limited volume amount and depending as well on the, pro on the product that you are producing. I, I mentioned earlier that to be able to implement all those improvements, you might need um, funding support. And as part of the setup program, we also provide seed fund, particularly for equipment or equipment upgrading or technology acquisition. As mentioned earlier, uh, this would be at 0% interest with six months grace period. And the amount of assistance is uh, refundable for a period of 36 months. Uh, yun lang, uh, unlike the other um, the other services that I mentioned, the trainings, the technical consultancies, which would just need a letter for us to be able to give them to you. If you are uh, in need of the funding support, you would have a longer processing time and longer steps na dadaanan. So meron kaming uh, reco documentary requirements, yung project proposal. Do not worry on the project proposal. Our, um, our cluster managers, our clustered area s and directors would help you uh, write those, would help you submit those. Uh, we would also need a letter of intent. We need a copy of the business permits and licenses, yung sa SEC nyo or kaya sa GTI, kaya mayor's permit. Uh, your financial statements for the past three years, this can be yung audited or pwede rin yung in-house. And then a five-year financial project projection, after which um, this would be evaluated by our uh, review and technical evaluation committee. So, to see you apply dito, nag defend din po kayo sa aming review and technical evaluation committee. Uh, the review and technical evaluation committee would look on the uh, technical feasibility and financial feasibility and would also have additional recommendations pa on how you would improve your processes and your products. Uh, we have uh, also expanded the scope of services of setup, and we are developing uh, food innovation centers in each region nationwide. 
uh, we, these facilities are available for product development and prototyping, rental of equipment for limited sample production. Um, we are also very active in developing information systems that would be a, would be of help sa ating mga micro, small, and medium enterprises. One of these is the One Expert portal. So you just have to go to onexpert.gov.ph where you would be able to talk with experts and access our consultancy services programs. Uh, the One Expert portal is actually is also very active now in doing uh, virtual trainings and virtual consultations. Uh, we'll also have the One Lab portal. It's a one-stop laboratory services for global competitiveness. Uh, you can access it through web.onelab.ph. Uh, web uh, what this basically do is net, it, it, it networks all the DUSD laboratories, those located in the regions and uh, laboratories of our RDIs. Uh, it also included in the network are also laboratories from the private sector and um, laboratories of other government agency as well as international laboratories. What it does, uh, kung meron kang kailangang testing, for example, you want to be halal certified, and um, you would need uh, testing on uh, dapat alcohol-free, your product. Uh, and those are provided by uh, laboratories in the USD4 and in uh, the USD11. You do not have to uh, go to the laboratory of DOST Calabarzon, we would just have to go to one of the laboratories of DOST here in Bukutan, and they would be the one to send your sample to Calabarzon for testing. So, mas madali, isa na lang ang laboratory na pupuntahan mo, sila na yung bahalang mag-facilitate, uh, tapos the system is also accessible sa desktop or mobile Android application, so you would be able to uh, monitor the status of your uh, testing requests. Yeah. We also have the onestore.ph where it's a um, online commercial platform, selling platform for uh, DOSD assisted products. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, one of the functions of the DOS regional offices is to really encourage uh, the technology transfer of uh, DOSD generated technologies. And one of the, and one of the uh, ways that the, the DOSC system does, does, does that is through the Kada of Technology Transfer Days. So those uh, technologies that were featured in the Technology Transfer Days are also actually can be accessed through this website. So tabletechtrust.usd.gov.ph. And in addition to this website, you would um, also be able to access the websites of the different agencies to check on the different technologies that are available for adoption and commercialization. Yeah, uh, we have also recently launched the iForward page, or what we call the US Innovations for Filipinos working distantly from the Philippines. Under this program, what we hope to do is to encourage our OFWs to establish a technology-based enterprise in the country, particularly with the onset ng pag nila due to uh, COVID-19. So under this program, um, it's a two-phase program. Phase one would focus on capability building. Uh, capability building not just on the technical aspect of productions, but as doon din sa core business development um, needs, uh, core business development skills that an enterprise should have. So after phase one, they would be able to have an opportunity to go into phase two, which would be the uh, provision of funding for establishment of technology-based enterprises. So under phase one, uh, we provide uh, training modules done virtually on entrepreneurial mindset, marketing and e-commerce, um, planning your business and business plan initially through the business model canvas, uh, product hosting, operations management, supply and value chain, uh, taxation and business loss, and then coupled with the uh, uh, technical trainings and technical consultations with our experts to be able to establish your processes and determine the uh, equipment and process needs that you have to um, look into when you establish your technology-based enterprise. Uh, the technological series also focuses on the teaching of USD developed technologies that you might be interested in. Yeah. Uh, 
funding support for this component is up to a maximum of 250,000, but that already includes the costing for the packaging and label design execution and for market testing and initial laboratory testing. Uh, equipment uh, support would be 70% of that, but we do require that um, the AFW established business would have a one is to one counterpart. The counterpart funding can be on facility, can be on raw materials, and which they can also access through uh, other funding agencies such as the DTI and the uh, um, DOLE through OWA. Yeah. Should you have other needs, um, we just have to write our uh, director, Sebi Batalino Peter, uh, and send it through ncr at the usd.gov.ph or call us at 8519-8702. Uh, we also have an active um, Facebook page and an Instagram page where you can also post through your inquiries and requests. Again, uh, on behalf of our regional director, uh, we would like to thank uh, the organizers for this opportunity to present our programs and services. Thank you very much, Romulan. How are you? Good morning. Good, thank you. That was very interesting. I like the part where you help people save tons of water during the production process. I think that's very helpful. Uh, I actually have questions myself, but let us start with the questions from the audience. I have a question for you. Uh, here is from somebody anonymous. If we have existing technology and would want to improve it, is it possible to apply for the set up program? Um, if the existing technology was done or developed by you as an inventor as a, or as a researcher, we have separate programs for those under the technology applications and promotions mm -hmm. institute. Um, I think I gave the emails of our uh, of our uh, clustered area S and directors. Uh, you could email them para we can provide the exact, um, we could coordinate with you and provide the exact program that would be most applicable. Since with uh, the Technology Applications and Promotions Institute, we have funding support for concept prototype development. And then they also have funding support for um, commercial testing of your prototype. So it would really depend on the uh, particular need. Uh, if the tech if you have an existing technology, but that's actually um, off the rack or you imported those, but uh, you feel that those would be, uh, those are not really appropriate for your processes, we can assist you through setup. Um, but if what you're thinking about is that if there's an existing technology that was um, not developed by you, but you have innovations, but you thought of innovations on it, we can refer you to the Technology Applications and Promotions Institute for the, probably for the um, prototype assistance. Okay, there you go. Uh, prototyping, so let's say it's a unique technology. Uh, yeah. You will help develop the unique technology and maybe even help the creator uh, apply for a patent. <laughs> yes, they also provide that service with the technology. That's very interesting. Right, because I mean, you never know, right? If something is unique and uh, brand new, then you help it out. Uh, this is interesting. So this is uh, this is my question. Is this a government project and do we have to pay, let's say if I want to join the setup program? The setup program, um, it would have certain components that are provided for free, particularly the training mm -hmm. support and the technical consultancy services uh, programs. Those are provided for free, uh, but mm -hmm. the funding support for technology upgrading or technology acquisition that would that you would need to improve your processes, those are not provided for fee. Pero meron uh, siya six months grace period, and then you would have to refund the amount of assistance for a period of 36 months. So that's the years. So the program actually gives you an opportunity to uh, realize the benefits first before you would right. refund 
the amount of assistance to the government. Uh, the others, right. the the product testing services, uh, you would have to pay for those. Uh, but the testing services can actually be funded under setup, so you, at least you won't have to uh, have a one-time um, investment on it since uh, you can right. incorporate that in the budget for the setup innovation funding support. Right. Great. I mean, 36 months, that's like three years. I don't think that's so yeah. bad, right? It's, it's like a good investment that they could do. Okay. Uh, somebody is asking, how can we get copies of the presentation? Can you tell them, please? Um, the copies, the presentation have actually been given to the organizers. So you can access those from the organizers. You can also visit our virtual booth. We would have copies of the presentation there. Okay. There you go. We'll, t we'll make sure uh, on our end uh, to post the presentation. So if you have questions, you can always just look back to the slides later on. Okay, uh, we will make that announcement. We promise you we'll put that in the chat room. Last question for you, Romulan. Is this set up program open for beginners, for OFWs like us who are just starting and do not have financial statements of business in the past? Uh, we have a special program for the OFWs. That's what uh, it's what it's the I Forward PH program. Um, I also presented those. Uh, you can also download some of our uh, materials uh, for I Forward <laughs> program through our I Forward portal. So it's searchable mm -hmm. in Google. Plus, uh, however, for the for the I Forward program, eligibility is that uh, you were repatriated or you are back to the Philippines for the past three years since we, this would mean that you should have been in the Philippines or planning to come back to the Philippines since start of 2018. Mm -hmm. Since today is 2020, yes. Okay, there you go. Uh, iForward.ph. iForward .ph. Right. Uh, for those who are uh, startup businesses but are not OFWs, we also have another venture financing program for startups um, mm -hmm. under the Technology Applications and Promotions Institute. So it, it works just like a set, the setup program, but that it would be uh, yeah. it's applicable for startup businesses. However, the requirement for all uh, venture financing support of the DUSD is that they all have to be technology based. Oh, there you go. Okay. Tech. Uh, because that's where the DOSD comes in, right? If there's a technology aspect in uh, the processing, not just like ideas in the head. Uh, ideas in their head that would be awkward in technology and um, translating now to processes and products. Okay, all right. Last question for you. Uh, for the foreign investors, foreigners now, who would like to work with DOSD uh, for R&D, uh, Cosme, Cosmeceuticals, with natural ingredients, what's your advice for them? Foreigners. Um, our, for foreigners, uh, is this 100% owned by foreigner investors or the They're, company is like 70-30? Because we have another I, program which should be introduced by Miss Anya later on. Uh, they can okay, probably, uh, <laughs> collaborate on that, but we also have uh -huh. requirements again on ownership. Okay. All right. So more information coming from DOSD later on. Romulan, thank you so much. That was great. Yeah. Appreciate you waking up so thank early today to join us. 